my unit was in the front lines. We saw heavy combat. I was a platoon leader of an EOD security escort. I was in charge of security for the uh, explosive and ordnance disposal team, which went and uh, deactivated IEDs or went to an area when IED had exploded. I was blown up by an IED. I suffered um, bilateral lower leg injuries. My name is JJ Guerrero. I am a retired captain of the United States Army. I am 47 years old and I am a double amputee. I felt I was invincible. I went from a place where I could do everything physically to a place where I couldn't do things by myself. I wasn't able to use the restroom on my own. I wasn't able to change my clothes on my own. I wasn't able to feed myself on my own. And it took a long time before I was able to do those things. There have been many times where I didn't feel whole. It made, made me question why I was still alive and why I was still around. It's been a long 10 year journey. I have suffered from depression, anxiety, uh, just being down on my luck. Adaptive came into my life sometime in late 2015. They approached me and asked me if I was willing to be their first recipient for their organization. They provided me with uh, lower countertops, a dishwasher that was handicap accessible. They whitened the doors to my pantry. Actually, they put two doors in my pantry. They changed all the flooring in my house, make it non-slip so, so I can move around in my wheelchair. They also built a ramp around the house for as an egress. The laundry list of things that Adaptive has done to adapt my home is so long you may not have time to show it all. There are no words that can express how grateful I feel towards Adaptive. They have given me the freedom to move about my house, to feed my family, to allow me the opportunity to go outside and play with my children. When, when they went abroad to fight for our freedom, we rode on their back, and now it's time for them to ride on ours. Every adaptation is different. We adapt to their abilities, not their disabilities. Uh, an adaptation can be as simple as a set of grab bars in the, in the shower, and it can be as extensive as taking the entire house and widening doorways, lowering switches, raising plugs. It's a stepping stone to healing, and it, but it's a large stepping stone. Uh, these guys and gals just want to be helped. They want to feel with, like with, they were appreciated right. for what they did for our country. And they don't want to feel forgotten or that they did it for nothing. Adaptive has given me my, my dignity and my freedom. And that's probably the most important part. We fight for our country knowing that there's a possibility that we could give our lives or limbs for it. If I had the opportunity to do it, I would do it all over again. I didn't ask to be hurt. I didn't ask to be injured. And I don't ask for anyone to give me help. But it's, it's good to know that there are people out there in organizations that are willing to sacrifice their time and their hard-earned money to help soldiers, airmen, Coast Guard, Marines, like myself, that have gone out there into the combat zone and then given it all.